I did this short the other day showing a softened up version of my makeup and I got a request for a tutorial to show you my step-by-step -step way on how I did it. So today you're gonna hang out with me while I get ready and I'm gonna show you how I do a soft, easy, daily makeup look. Before I start putting on makeup, I do wanna let you know I've already done my skincare routine. And this is the MAC Strobe Cream. It's a kind of like a little bit of a pink shade and it just gives your face a nice little glow. So right out of the shower, I put that all over my face. Next, I applied my sunscreen. This is from PCA and it's a sunscreen, but it's also a moisturizer. Once those were all soaked in, I applied my e.l.f. Mineral Infused primer oh, this stuff is magical i bought this primer and i'm like oh this is pretty cool i put it on and instantly it's like it makes my skin feel like velvet so i put that all over my face i let it soak in and now my face is primed and ready to start putting makeup on first i'm going in with my nyx thicket and stick it brow mascara Next, we're going in with Max Paint Pot and I'm going to primer my eye. Once I have my primer on, I'm going to go in with this Prep and Prime and I'm going to put it all over my eye. This hack right here, if you don't do anything else besides this hack, this is a must do. It prevents like all the weird creasing in my eyeshadow. Now the color palette that I used for this soft look is the Wet n Wild. This is the color icon and the palette name is Walking on Eggshells. I'm gonna start with this light brown here. I'm gonna put it all over my eye, slightly above the crease. Then working on my way in, I'm going to do the darkest brown in the corners. I'm going to do this little bit of a lighter brown right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take this peach right here. I'm just going to start from the inside of my eye and I'm going to work my way out, blending it all the way from the inside of my eye to the outside of my eye. Once I have that all applied, I'll kind of step back and take a look at it and see if I wanna darken it up in any certain areas. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back in with my darkest shade on this palette and I'm going to put another slight little layer on top. Then with my magic fingers, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to blend it and give it an all over soft look. Next, I'm gonna go in with my House Laboratories gel pencil and I'm gonna put it underneath my waterline on the top. Going back to my palette and a very small applicator brush, I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown and I'm gonna put a little bit of a shading on top of my lid. I almost forgot the lightest shade next to my brow. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna put that in really quick just to give it a little bit of a lift. And once we have that on, we will move to the mascara. I am all about black mascara. I put two to three layers on my top. And then again, I say this all the time, very sparingly on my lower lashes. Now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline eraser and I'm gonna put a little bit of it on my clean finger. Remember, I used this finger to blend my eyeshadow and I wanna make sure that I don't get any of that eyeshadow underneath my eyes because I want to brighten up underneath my eyes. I don't wanna make it dull or muddy. Now for the foundation, I'm not gonna do any contour or highlighting on this one. What I'm using is the Maybelline BB Cream. This is in a shade medium. And I'm using the Flawless Satin Foundation from e.l.f. And this is in the shade of Bisque. I'm going to blend it together 
and that's gonna be my foundation for the day. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I've been having a lot of fun with like the makeup hacks where you put the contour on and then, and then you blend it all out. And I think it's super fun and I've really enjoyed doing it. But what I have noticed here lately, and then I blend it together like that while I'm talking to you. But what I've noticed and the reason I'm not doing it today is because if you put on too much contour, if you put on too much of that darker um, shade, it's actually gonna make your skin kind of look a little muddy. And I found myself not having that real kind of like bright highlighted foundation look that I wanted. And that's why I blended these two together, just to give it a nice, really bright, glowy foundation. I did notice the other day, I put on a bunch of concealer underneath my eyes, and I was looking in the rear view mirror and I'm like, what's wrong with my eyes? And I noticed that the concealer was actually pooling in the fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes. And I'm like, that is the exact opposite of what I wanted to have happen. So investing in a little sponge like this will make sure that whatever product you put underneath your eye, you're gonna get that blended in and you're not gonna get that, um, <laughs> that pooling effect like I had. It was not pretty. Now, once I have my foundation all on, I'm again, I'm not using that dark contour underneath, but I am gonna go in with my e.l.f. bronzer and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a sun-kissed look on my forehead. Underneath my jawline on my neck. And then along my cheeks. Keeping with the softer makeup theme, I used my Plum MAC blush with a brush and I gently just patted on some color on my cheeks. Boop, boop. And I always just give my nose just a little boop, boop of blush too to kind of just brighten up your face. I'm gonna go back in with my lips and I'm gonna do a soft nude color. So I'm using my Painterly Pot once again with my applicator brush and I'm gonna primer my lips. I'm trying to talk and my brush is literally going in my mouth. So, lips primer. I absolutely love using this primer on my lips. It just, I like my eyes, this is a good hack. Get yourself this little brush. I got this at CVS. It's like, um, let me show you. It's this Real Techniques little brush set. Brush set. I love it so much. I bought a second one and because I want that brush right there just in case this one ever stops working. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to tell you. Another thing that I do for my skincare routine is Rock sent me this, um, it's a multi-correction stick and I put this around my eyes. Getting back to the lips, I'm gonna be using Max Blankety. I always try to say Butterly, but it's Blankety. I'm gonna put it right over that primer I just put on. Then the final step to this look is going in with my NYX Fat Oil. This stuff is amazing. <gasps> I have it in a bunch of different shades and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put that right over my Blankety. And here is my softened down version of my daily makeup. <sighs> I like this look. You know what? Um, I really go back and forth between like those bright, bold red lips. And sometimes I like to just have a softened up version. And I really like this version. I, as always, will have all the products that I just used in my Shop My Look link, which is down below. And if you're out there and you're like, I don't know if I can do it, I'm telling you right now, from me to you, look, I'm looking at you right in your eyes. You can do it. Have fun with it. If you don't like it, wipe it off and try something else. <sighs> I think that's it. So until next time, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave, be adventurous, wear makeup, dye your hair different colors, wear whatever you want, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.